In this video, we will see how to create a user-friendly front-end post submission in WordPress, and allow users to contribute guest posts and other custom post type content from the WordPress front-end. We will use Tablesome which is a WordPress post submission add-on that helps to accept user-submitted posts in WordPress front-end using WordPress form plugins. You can easily try the Tablesome plugin by starting a free trial. You can find the link in the video description. To create a custom post submission form you can make use of any of the WordPress form plugins supported by Tablesome that is Contact Form 7, WP Forms, Forminator, and Elementor plugins. Let's see how to create a post submission form. In this site we have installed the free Contact Form 7 plugin in Tablesome. We have created a sample post submission in Contact Form 7. You can see that we have created several form fields to get personal details of post submitters. You can skip this if it is not necessary for you. You could also add other post fields or custom fields that you want on your site by simply selecting from the field list above. You can also see that we have added the post fields, post title, post content, post excerpt, and featured image, to this form. Post title is an obligatory field that is required to create a post. We have used the text, text area, and file uploads formats for the respective fields. You could also add other post fields or custom fields that you want on your site by simply selecting from the field list above. After adding all the necessary form fields you should save the form. You could do the same with the Elementor page builder using the Elementor form widget and use the basic text and text area fields. You could also use the WP Forms Lite Free WordPress Form plugin to create a post submission form, but the file upload field is not available in the free version. Then there is the free Forminator plugin that you can use to create a post submission form. Now that the post submission form is ready, let's go to Tablesome and create a post creation workflow. Give this workflow a good title. Under Workflows, you can see that all the supported forms are listed here. Here you can select the CF7. On Form Submit Trigger and then select the post submission form that you have created. You can do the same for other form plugin integrations. Then under Action 1, select the Add Post under the provided WordPress actions. Next you have to select the post type, all the available post types will be listed here. Let's select Posts. Below you will find the map post field section, here you can map the form field to the available post fields. Post title and post status are the minimum necessary fields to create a WordPress post. You have to select the status of the post that will be submitted. You can choose to put it on, publish, pending, draft, and private. You can also map other available post fields to the form fields.
you can also assign the taxonomies that the created post will have such as categories and tags. If you have a custom post field you can store it as a post metadata with a meta key. After finishing the field mapping, you can save the workflow by clicking the Save button. Now that we have created the post creation workflow, let's submit a test form and see if a new post is being created. Let's submit this form and check if the post is created. We can see that a new post is created on this WordPress site using the custom front-end post submission form that we have created. It has all the select post status, categories, and tags. Besides creating WordPress posts and pages, you could also create custom post types posts with Tablesome. For example, we have a portfolio post type in this site with a couple of categories. You can see that this custom post type comes with fields such as title, content, featured images, excerpt, etc. We will use the Contact Form 7 plugin to create a post submission form for this CPT post. We will create a post creation workflow in Tablesome for this post type. When selecting the post type we will select the portfolio post type and then we will complete the field mapping.
We will submit a test form to see if the CPT post is submitted. We can see that the new CPT post is created. With Tablesum you can also set up workflows to redirect form submitters to another page, also save the form entries and much more. Like, comment and share this video. Subscribe to this channel to get more videos like this.